The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has fired three ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan from Hyunju County in North Hwangi province. South Korea's news agency Yonhab, quoting the country's joint chiefs of staff, said that the launches took place at around 12.14 p.m. local time. South Korea's military say all three missiles were medium-range Rodan-class missiles, which have a maximum range of 1,000 kilometers. And it was said that the latest test is believed to have traveled about 1,000 kilometers. And we spoke earlier to our correspondent Shane Hom, who was standing by in the South Korean capital Seoul. Well, that latest bit of information coming in within the past hour, the Joint Chiefs of Staff here confirming indeed that these were uh, Rodong medium, uh, medium range type of missiles there, uh, remnants from uh, the 1980s Soviet Scud type of missile, and they have a maximum range of anywhere between 1,000 and 1,300 kilometers. But these latest tests uh, were believed to have traveled uh, about, about 1,000 kilometers, landing in fact in Japanese or Japan's Air Defense Identification Zone, or its ADIZ, and this comes after about uh, roughly two weeks after the country conducted a submarine launch ballistic missile, which at that time happened to land, uh, that ballistic missile landed in Japan's economic ex exclusive economic zone. So uh, what we've heard over the past hour is the leaders of Japan and South Korea meeting on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Hangzhou, uh, expressing uh, that they will cooperate very closely to counteract uh, these DPRK provocations. Also, uh, if you look at this region, these missiles were fired in an area just south of Pyongyang from the western part of the country, and it would have had to travel across land to land into these waters off of the eastern coast. And we've seen similar type of missiles fired from this region back in July of this year as well. So uh, the Joint Chiefs here have openly said that these latest tests seem to be a show of force by the country uh, in the wake of the, the G20 summit.